second day with the shoulder pads on, so I'm getting a little bit more physical. So uh, overall pleased to be anxious to get out there tomorrow with full pads and see where we're at and pick up the intensity a little bit, and pick up uh, and get the, the practices a little bit more physical. So uh, starting to see a few bumps and bruises, as you would expect, but uh, got some good work in. How'd the freshman react to having those pads on? Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Really had a, guys did a decent job. You know, they, 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 their freshmen are doing some good things. It looked like Saturday, Mark, when you had some of those young corners in. Cody and Fred were still on the sideline yelling direction at those guys. How have you seen the older older corners kind of respond to that? I, I, I've seen those guys respond very well. And uh, that's our whole team is a lot like that now. Guys are really, truly in it for each other, and um, you know, care about each other. And there's still great competition going on right now. But the guys are—they uh, know we're here to get better. It, we come in these rooms and watch film. And film doesn't lie, you know. So ultimately, the, the best players are going to play. But uh, there's good competition. But uh, again, I think our guys care about each other, and they want to win. You mentioned Jordan the other day. Now that you've been in a little bit of pads anyway for a couple of days, is he still standing out to you yeah, as a guy that's? Yeah, he, he did. He, he did some very good things, and, and uh, you know I like the way he's playing. I think he's very talented. And, uh, you know he's he's feeling his way through a few things, but uh, but overall uh, playing very well. Did you see something in him that when you wanted him to enroll early and get going early that, that made you think he could do this? Yeah, well, it's twofold. I wanted him to enroll early because he went to my high school, and I knew he would, what he would have done the second semester. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he did just, I, I, I mean, he needed, he needed to get here so we could put a foot, you know where. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, no, we knew he was a talented guy. I saw him play uh, the state championship game as a junior uh, in, in camp, and uh, he really stood out. He is. He is. I, uh, like you guys have mentioned, you saw him rotating in there the other day. Right now, we're getting some some numbers there. But again, I want to see elite players, and uh, you know that's what uh, you know. What, this is a staff we met on this afternoon and talked about some things. But that's you know that's what we need to do as we move forward with camp is put them in some very tough situations and see who's going to make the competitive plays. You hear me talking about that a lot. You know, in the secondary, you know, you could play corner and, and not get a whole heck of a lot of action. You know, maybe three, four plays a game, but th those plays determine whether you win or lose a lot of times and how many competitive plays are you making. And, uh, and you know, we'll see. I like what I see so far from the young corners, and we'll see as we progress through camp turns out to, to earn the starting jobs and, and the playing time. You know, I like what I see, like I said, and I, I want to keep on putting them in tough positions. When you say you, you want to see elite, is, is Chris one of those guys that you think you're looking at thinking he might have that potential? I, or I mean, yeah, I mean, I hate to get too far out there and too far ahead with that. I'm, I'm, I'll see as we go forward here. I mean, generally speaking, I like what I see. Yeah. We brought yeah. him up more than uh, Beatty and Jackson, but if you well, see I, I like those guys equally. I really do. I think uh, Chris may have, you know, some top end that you look for, top end speed that you look for, but I really like the way the other two guys are moving around, and, as well as Key Becker. And uh, Key is a guy that's, that, you know, much like some of the guys you've heard me talk about, you know, he has those instincts to play inside, move around the smarts and the instincts to play some nickel and some dime, so we're moving him around a little bit as well. How often you, have you ever started a fresh, true freshman corner in your? Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, the one that jumps out at me, I started uh, Antoine Casey. And all That's he did guy. was start every game for four years and win the Thorpe and become a first round draft pick. So that, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but Antoine is a guy I talk a lot about in recruiting because he did. Uh, he came in, and I remember making that decision two days before the opener with my brother Mike saying, let's go with Antoine. And that was a good move. You know, we went through some growing pains, but uh, I had a great career. Mark Chad Scott was saying the other day that the, if you look at last year, the way JoJo ran in the Wildcat, he can do those things outside of the Wildcat if he'll run that way. How, how important is it to you 
you guys that he get into some of those things? Well, I think it's very important. I think he's just, um, you know, he, as we mentioned, you know, sometimes he has the patience uh, that you need. He has some little bit more experience, and uh, he has the great energy that you're looking for. So you know, we'll continue to work with him. He looks good right now. As you know, we have some good other backs. So uh, the, the thing is, is you know you're going to need all those guys and more uh, throughout the season with uh, how physical it is in this league and the schedule that we have. So you never know when your number is going to get called. But uh, he's been good. He's been steady so far. Farrington is a guy who's played a lot of football around here but hasn't been thrust into that number one spot. Are you seeing maybe him starting to move along and fill that yeah. role for you guys? Yeah, I feel very good. You've heard me talk about him throughout the summer. He's a guy that's played some very good football for us before he hasn't been counted on to be a starter or a, too much of a leader because we've had some other guys at his position. But I really like what he does on the field and off. He's been so steady. Um, I, I just like his demeanor and uh, I like the way he goes about his business. He's, he's not one of those overly talkative guys, but, uh, but he gets the job done, you know, much like Bud was a lot like that for a while. So I just like Barrington. I think he's going to be a very good football player for us. Yeah. Pretty good results with junior college players since you got here. What do you look for when you're when you're seeking those guys out, and yeah. what do you kind of expect from those guys this year? Well, the first thing is just ability. Obviously, that's you know, let's not kid ourselves. We know we need all the other intangibles that you hear me talk about all the time, but you better have the ability. Um, and so, you know, that's the first thing. I like the length that we got with these guys, and, and you know how explosive they are. It's tough when they get in here late. You know, it, it, much like Ryan Flanagan a year ago, you know, he got in here late and, and you know, even missing that summer uh, puts you a little bit behind. Um, but I like what I see right now from the junior college guys, and I think they'll help us and help quick. Uh, I don't know. It's tough, in particular, for Omonte to play that position. You, you know, again, you've heard me talk about that a lot. I think that position is very difficult. You, you know, I think just rushing, and, you know, they've been used to doing that. But all the different drops from playing outside linebacker and you know just everything you see, uh, you know it's tough. You need you need some experience and a lot of reps, and so uh, we'll we'll continue to tinker with where we play because he's very talented. It's just a matter of getting him in a position to let him be successful, in particular this first year. Where else could he play? Well, you could play into the boundary, you can play the field, and both either outside position or if we get into four three, just the end is really going to be. Does one or the other in that scheme of the? Depending on which side, outside linebacker drop more. Or well, it's guys? just a, it's a lot of it's an issue with space, you know. So the, the the outside linebacker to the field, or Sam, you know, he's playing in a lot more space. And, uh, into the boundary, you know, things can get condensed, as you know, for a good portion of the game. So that's one difference right there.